Hey guys, Mike Mackerling, President and Co-Founder of Gym Supplement Science. Today we're going to be talking about the barbell bench press utilizing the bands, how to set it up and what's the benefit and why to do it. So first of all, standard barbell, okay? Everybody knows how to use the barbell bench press. If you don't, make sure you actually understand that you do before you even get into this type of a movement. Let's talk about setting the bands up and then I'll go over the reason why. First of all, we have the Body Elastics Gym Strength Bands, which we do sell on Amazon.com. If you guys wanna go get them, just check out Body Elastics Strength Bands. Um, try to find the JYM ones because these have custom attachments. So what you wanna do, is you wanna utilize the straps in here. Now what I do to make sure that they are taut is the straps come through here. What you wanna do is you wanna pull it tight up and around double wrap here, cross it over, and then come through, all right? That makes sure that you have minimal distance traveling from here to the attachment point down below so you get maximum amount of resistance. And also it secures this strap to the bar. It's never gonna move. You can pull all as, you, as much as you want. You'll bend the bar before you actually break the strap. Secondly, I already have some bands attached here. What you wanna do is you wanna to go to the lowest point of the bench under here. If you don't have one of these bars down here, the secondary bars, put a heavy dumbbell down here in its place, okay? And I'm talking about a heavy dumbbell because these bands will pull the dumbbell up if it's not heavy enough. Go underneath the, the furthest attachment point down here and make sure they're even. You don't want the bands to be uneven here, so make sure that the hooks are relatively even. From here, pull it taut so it doesn't move, okay? And then get each one of the clips, one side, flip it to the next. Depending on the level of resistance you want, you can put as many bands as you want on here. Each kit has about 400 pounds of resistance. Right now, each one of these bands are 60 pounds. So technically, we have roughly about 180 pounds on here additional. Now, the benefit of this is that everybody knows when you bench, there is a strong and a weak point in the bench press, right? This is usually called the sticking point. It's that six inches between your chest in the middle of that rep in the range of motion. So as you come down here, everyone knows you come down here, you unrack, you come down here, oh, I can't, oh, this is the sticking point. It's the six inches right here, okay? Mm -hmm. So what is with that six inches? You always have to be able to lift the same amount of weight as your weakest part in that range of motion. A lot of times that can make you hit a plateau depending on the exercise that you're doing. Specifically in the bench, the way that main that most strength coaches, including myself back in the day, overcame this is we would do what's called a towel bench, right? So we would put a, a pad or a towel on our chest and we would do partial reps to where we would load up the weight as heavy as we could and come down, touch the towel or whatever, you know, we had down here and come back up to where we're working in this strong point of the muscles range of motion. What happens when you do that is because you're changing the range of motion by increasing the level of resistance you have, working in that strongest point, you're maximizing the overload principle where that muscle grows stronger and then your bench can kind of go up. I don't like doing partial reps. I've never been a big fan of it. So one of the things you can do with this is because the weight ratio is heavy. When you get up here, the weight, you got 180 pounds plus 145. Do the math, it's like 325, okay? So at the top, up here it's definitely heavy i mean it feels over 300 pounds i actually have a tension scale where i've measured this but as you come down here the weight decreases so as you're getting weaker you're able to compensate for the actual load to where you can push through that sticking point but as you push through that sticking point now the weight becomes heavier to where that range of shortening those muscle fibers are coming together getting stronger so you're maximizing the amount of weight during the strongest points of the muscles range of motion when I was a senior in college, I did my senior thesis utilizing the bands and the University of Louisiana Lafayette actually did a study to where they saw increasing, or excuse me, using the bands in the bench press and the squat in a manner just like this, increased the one rep max of trained athletes up to 30 and even 40%. So the other benefit about the bands, because you can get the same concept with the chains. A lot of people will put chains on here to where the links fall on the ground. You probably saw Kobe Bryant back in the day, his Nike commercial squatting with the chains. Everyone was like, why is he doing that? Because as the links descend on the floor, the weight ratio changes, it goes down. And as he comes up, as he's getting stronger, he's pushing heavier weight. 
So his muscle fibers are working harder, therefore he's getting stronger. And those type of muscle fibers, the type 2B fast twitch muscle fibers, that are the biggest and the strongest. Now the benefit that I like about the bands versus the chains is that chains and free weight have a funny little thing called momentum, right? So what you're doing is you're limiting the amount of speed at which you can actually execute that rep, right? This, if I lift it as fast as I can, it goes up, it comes down. The amount of force I use to push this up or pull it up as fast as I can exceeds the weight and therefore the gravity takes over and it carries that momentum up and it comes back down. Same thing with the chains. You're limited based on the amount of speed because if you start benching fast, the chains start flopping around and you lose control of the weight, right? Think about the bands, there's constant tension, constant resistance. It's an elastic resistance. I could be in space or underwater and get the same amount of resistance outside of those two environments, right? So no matter what environment you're in, this weight never changes. Therefore, speed and momentum is not a factor, okay? So the benefit I like about this is that now you can increase power into the movement in which you otherwise could not. The only way to generate a true power movement in the chest, I know I'm all over the place, is you like a power push-up, right? You come down here, you come up, right? You do one of those power push-ups. That's the only way to generate the maximum amount of force applied to the area that you wanna work. In this case, it's the pecs. So how do you do that with a regular bench press? Well, only way I know how is with the bands. So check it out. So what you wanna do is as you unrack here, you're getting two factors. The difference in the load coming up and coming down. Secondly, you can go as fast as you want to maximize the power output. <laughs> now, it might not look as fast as I can go, right? But once again, you're pushing probably 300 pounds to the top of the movement. So the next time you guys try bench press, if you're getting into a sticking pattern, or if you have high reps, I love using the bands when you're using high reps. Anything over 10 reps, try adding the bands. Where to get them? Check out amazon.com. Look for the body elastic strength bands, specifically the ones by JYM. If you can't find those, just get any bands that actually have the attachments. The reason why I suggest these, I'm out of breath, is because they all have every attachment that we help design, that I help design, to make sure you guys have all the accessories you need to make sure you're getting the benefits of the exercise. All right, guys, until next time, it's Mike McAerling. Take care.